ever a game will live or die by the success of its license, then this is it. EA has the rights to the Euro 2004 tournament itself sewn up, so Codemasters is putting all its eggs into England's basket, and praying that we don't come unstuck against lowly Switzerland and unfancied Bulgaria, never mind tournament favourites France. We're moments from kickoff. Let's look at the two liners. This is one player we should be keeping a close eye on today. He seems to have it all. A decent touch, a blistering shot, and good in the air. This should be an enjoyable game between two very good teams. It's a gamble that could pay dividends if England progress through the tournament as expected. But don't let that lull you into a false sense of security, because England international football is certainly no pacey forward with silky dribbling skills and an unerring eye for goal. No, it's more of a midfield clogger with a bad knee. He plays it forward. The major problem lies with the general sluggishness and slow recovery of your players after making a tackle or gaining control of the ball. Lengthy midfield scraps often cut short a flowing move as a player collects the ball and then immediately loses it because he takes forever to regain his poise, only for the next player to do the same until there's a huddle of players endlessly dispossessing each other. Fortunately, it's not so noticeable when you play against a human opponent, and getting one over a mate is the only reason you play footy games anyway, right? Here's a replay of the goal. England international football attempts to imitate Pro Evolution Soccer 3, right down to the default controller configuration. This is no bad thing. The few original features the game musters are pretty worthwhile too. The tactical options are more extensive than in Pro Evolution Soccer 3, allowing you to set individual player roles in addition to the team's shape as a whole. At the end of the day, it's your own skill that determines whether you win or lose, but being able to instantly switch wingers, drop players deeper or have someone man-mark a specific player means that an instance, such as a sending off, doesn't automatically result in a battling for the ten men. We're taking a second look at this goal. In the pecking order of footy games, England international football ranks just below This Is Football 2004. It's roughly as good as FIFA 2004 and has some admirable qualities, but the sticky controls and lack of polish drag it well below Pro Evolution Soccer 3 into mid-table obscurity. Most significantly though, it hands the initiative to UEFA Euro 2004.